I started when I was a teenager uh, to buy records with my pocket money from the weekend. But I started to collect really big series, like uh, 10 years ago. So yeah, I'm, I'm, it's one of my hobbies, call it hobby, Spencer now, because uh, every time your taste gets, in, I mean, your ears are getting more educated and your taste is getting more expensive and more expensive and you're looking for more strange, uh, you know, things. When I was a teenager, I was listening only rock, uh, which it was, we didn't have much choice really. So I discovered Bossa Nova with 16. I was working in this bar in Barcelona in the center, very kind of trendy, and as a waitress. And uh, the owner have a really nice collections of collection of Bossa. This opened me uh, new doors. So I said, wow, there is more stuff. And then they just got me into Tambla Motown and blah, blah, blah. For me, it, I have to find a way that uh, organize my records the way, a way that I, I understand. I don't care about the others if they don't understand. So I do by styles and uh, like uh, my favorite labels. So this is one done, of course, Tribal Tech, Tech House, Deep Vocal, Deep House, Obscure Deep, House Funky, that's it, this is another um, label I like, Bakula. Uh, Bakula is an artist and Philomena is a label. Ava, my love, is underground, it's a French label. And then Main House, so, and then I have Brazil. So it, it's a way that I understand. So when I want something, I go, boom, okay, it's here. When I work, when I DJ, when I'm, I do my normal life, everyday life, I don't listen only one record. What I do is like, I have the record of the moment. It's like uh, the last, now it's kind of, I listen enough, <laughs> but it's like, um, this has been like the record of my summer. So what I do, uh, new music, they call Warp, ILO Edit. Now the new Caribou album, I'm getting into it. I think it's, it's an amazing people, uh, really clever produce, producers. And, so every time is one. But if I have to tell you one record, a house record, Chess Damier, Forever Mona. You know when I stopped carry vinyls? I was four or five years ago, I went to Indonesia to play, and they stopped me in the airport in the control, and the police charged me a dollar a record. <coughs> I have about 100 something, so I have to pay 100 if I want my record back. And I said, but this is not legal. He said, yeah, yeah, this is a new thing. I thought, what? And then some other friends, DJs, they told me, yeah, they're doing this now because they, they, they figure out that you cannot go without your records. So I say, okay, bye bye, you know. The Marvin Gaye vinyl is a bit fucked up, so I show you my favorite, uh, let's say, like black music album. And uh, this, maybe these two, is the records I've been playing for 30, 40 years, and I don't get tired of them. <laughs> I never get, you never get enough. This is like cleaning your ears, you know what I mean? Of course, classic music does that, and a good jazz as well. Mm -hmm. So when I, I'm, I'm gonna explode from bloody electronic music, I go back to this.